fan bam what's going on i'm doing my cool down walk after my workout i know i haven't been consistent with the videos lately because you guys know a lot's been going on in the house the load has been heavy for me with charlotte being sick but i got something i want to talk to you about today things that i talk about at the beginning of the year and also what i've learned this past month uh with the second word god put on my heart which was growth this video is also sponsored by hello fresh who's been helping your boy make the load a lot easier in the house Y'all know what time it is. The average trip to the grocery store takes 41 minutes, and in this season of life, that feels like a lifetime. And with HelloFresh, I can now skip those trips, save that time, and get everything I need to make chef curated meals delivered to my door and save up to 28% by using HelloFresh versus going to the grocery store. HelloFresh also makes healthy living easier with their weekly calorie smart, vegetarian and pescatarian options and every recipe is packed with high quality produce sourced directly from farmers. You can also choose meals that help you stay on track without sacrificing satisfaction with our new meal preference fit and wholesome that serves up calorie smart and carb smart recipes you're looking for. With HelloFresh, produce gets you faster than if you were to buy them in a grocery store. So ingredients are at peak freshness and flavor and from farm to fridge in under a week. Lately, I've been into the fit and wholesome meals because I know they are going to keep me feeling good inside and out and they are so bomb. This week, I got the smothered beef burritos, Szechuan beef noodles, and miso apricot chicken. And today, I have a taste for the miso apricot chicken. One of my favorite parts about HelloFresh is that they send you step-by-step -step instructions and fresh pre-measured ingredients. You get everything you need, so it's almost impossible to mess up, and there are zero advanced chef skills needed. When you start cooking, you notice right away how super fresh everything is. It's like the farmer's market comes right to you. So when it's all said and done, I save time, I save money, and I get wholesome meals right to my doorstep without breaking a sweat. So make sure to check out the link in my bio to get 16 meals free, plus free shipping and three surprise gifts from HelloFresh. All right, fam, bam, your boy just got done working out and I just got done eating that delicious meal from HelloFresh. So your boy's feeling good. And I was getting ready to speak to you guys about, one, about what I wanted to talk to you about. But I went to my last video and I was commenting back to all you guys. And I came across this comment that I thought I should share because... It, I was kind of taken back by it, but I also understand there's some validity in it, and it also rose into what I wanted to talk to you guys about anyway. Uh, so let's get into this comment, and then I'll break it. I'll break the whole thing down for y'all. Why are all your videos about you? All poor said you have to do something around the house or take care of your kids in all caps. How about a video about Charlotte and all the things that she's done, and you've never shown any appreciation to her until now you find out everything that she's been doing all along, pregnant or not. I'm really surprised how many people feel sorry for you because you have to get your girls ready to do the dishes or do the laundry because your wife is not feeling well due to the pregnancy. In most households with two working parents, everything is usually a 50-50, but it seems like in your house it's 100% Charlotte and 0% for you. And now that you finally had to do something, all you do is complain. That is sad. I think your next video should be about apologizing for not helping around the house and giving Charlotte a big thank you for everything in all caps that she has done while all you do is complain. <laughs> now, when I read this comment, like I said, I was a little bit taken back. I was like, okay, where the heck is all this stuff coming from? And when I read these comments, I really take them with a grain of salt because I know that when people comment stuff like this, they're usually speaking from their experience in their own house or if they had a mom, if they had a dad or whatever and how they kind of like did things in their home, right? So, but this is kind of what I wanted to talk about, about being consistent uh, with the content. Because as of late, you know, in the house, it has been difficult. And I didn't want to like keep posting videos every single week about how hard it's been and whatever. Because to her point, it can look like I'm complaining. And I totally get that. But the part that really got me when I read this, and what she talks about, in every home, it's 50-50. And what I've learned is that it is never 50-50 in a home. Somebody's always carrying more weight than the other person. It just happens right now in our marriage, I'm carrying more because Charlotte is not feeling well due to the pregnancy. Now, I said this in my last video. I love serving my family, and I am proud that I'm doing all that I'm doing, but just because I'm doing all that doesn't mean that it isn't hard or that um, I'm kind of struggling with doing it. And this is something that I was thinking about when I read this is like, I feel like when men really explain or express their true feelings, it's almost looked at as like, 
we're weak or we're complaining. And I don't really like using this word, but that's kind of like not fair, right? If I'm on, if I'm going to serve my family and serve my girls um, with everything that I have, I think it's important for me not to be this macho, tough guy that I can do everything or whatever because it's not reality. You know what I mean? When I play football, that's the mentality that I had all my life is like, we muscle through it, we get through it, and we get it all done, which is a great thing to have. But when you are dealing with real emotions, it's not good to just battle through that stuff. It's good for me to talk to, talk to my girls about what's going on and how I'm feeling because therefore, they know they can be secure and coming to me and talk about anything that they are going through when they are going through sports or school or whatever. You know what I mean? And this kind of rolls onto what I wanted to talk to you guys about anyway. Um, you know that the two words that God put on my heart is consistency and growth. And what I've been focusing on being consistent with is what I talked about in my last video about getting out my real emotions of how I feel and not being snappy and quick and um, short with my family because my the way that I was kind of raised is that we didn't we didn't express our emotions so it came out in like this very easy way which is anger and being anger and being snappy and stuff you know what I mean so every day I've been getting up recognized okay how can I I've been praying about how can I get up and express how I feel um through the things that i'm doing when i'm washing the dishes or when i'm taking the kids to school or i'm getting ready or i'm making the dinners or whatever and i've been doing it more joyful because i'm really understanding that that's how i feel even though it's hard you know what i'm saying even though it may seem like i'm complaining but the fact of the matter is i'm not complaining i'm just really telling how i feel and how it's going but it doesn't mean i'm mad about it right and i've been trying to figure out how to show that through my actions when I'm doing these things for my family. And although I haven't been consistent with the YouTube videos, I've been consistent for my family every day because that's what's most important to me. You know what I'm saying? Now, I love making these YouTube videos because it's a place where I can be real and express my journey through from Football to Father. Football to Father is me transitioning from my emotions spiritually, uh, physically, and everything that I do from what the game has taught me and what it has done for my life for my family. You know what I'm saying? So when I talk about these things, what I'm going through, it's from my perspective. It's, you know, it's my channel and I'm sharing things with, of my family. You know what I mean? So yeah, I understand how I can look. I, I, so yeah, I understand how it can look like I'm complaining, but the fact of the matter is I'm a man who's expressing what's going on and it's not taking away anything from my wife. You know what I mean? And I'm not here to defend you know what goes on in my house you know what i mean like me and charlotte have our conversations about what goes on in our marriage and how we can work with each other and when we're having a hard time you know what i mean and the thing about it is like you'll never see an article of, or a video about me and my family if something that i don't know where it happened because if something is, is happening i'm probably going to make a video about it me and charlotte are talking about divorce or going somewhere or having a great time i'm going to make a video about it because the one thing I really love about making these videos is that 20 years from now when my kids are grown, I can sit back and watch these videos with them and we can see real things of what was going on in their life when they were young. I get to document their lives and me as a father and Charlotte as a wife and us as a couple that we can always cherish forever. I have videos that I watch of my childhood with my parents, you know, and there's nothing like doing that. So going on to the growth piece is I have been growing in this area as a husband and as a father, you know what I mean? I, and also, I flew out to California and had my first speaking engagement because that's also something that I want to do. So I have been growing in so many ways that uh, I'm excited to share with you guys, hopefully soon. This is more so just an update video, and I kind of wanted to go off on that comment because it really kind of put things in perspective for me. Um, Charlotte is uh, feeling better uh, every day. In the daytime, she's feeling much better. She's not throwing up anymore, so that's good. So that means that I can kind of get some stuff peeled back and be more consistent with the videos. But the thing about being consistent with the videos, as you guys know, I keep a G all the time. And what I'm documenting is really real. And I'm not gonna just make a video for no reason to make, just to make a video. This is real life for me. So yeah, that's what I wanted to share with you guys today, fam bam. Uh, that comment was very uh, good. And I love all the comments, whether it's one like this or with all the love. Cause for me, this comment is still love. You know, somebody, talking from their perspective, which is rightfully so they have so, because I'm sharing my journey with you guys. So uh, I think we're gonna be on track here soon. There's no promises, but trust me, every day I'm being consistent and every day that I'm growing. And I hope that you are doing the same. So much love and, to, oh, wait, before you go, if you haven't clicked off, I'm gonna start the huddle uh, back this week. So if you haven't signed up for the huddle, start that. And then that's where you get the updates of what we got going on uh, coming up. So much love. And
Show my gratitude.